Haven't you always wanted a shortcut to sanity, a simple way to bring yourself some peace of mind, a way to calm all the noise? Well, unfortunately, there is no quick fix, although there are some very good principles that we can learn and practice and train ourselves to be more likely to infuse, engage, bring to our day-to-day -day behavior, moments, experiences. In this video, we are going to look at four stoic principles for a sound mind. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Start With Me channel. I hope you find this helpful. Four habits of the stoic mind. Our rational nature moves freely forward in its impressions when it, one, accepts nothing false or uncertain, Two, directs its impulses only to acts for the common good. Three, limits its desires and aversions only to what's in its own power. And four, embraces everything nature assigns it. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 8.7. So we're going to read from The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and see what his thoughts are on this, and then I'll share mine. If you notice, Marcus repeatedly reminds himself what Stoicism is. These bullet points are helpful to those of us reading thousands of years later, but really they were intended to be helpful to him. Maybe that day he had accepted a bad impression or had acted selfishly. Maybe he had pinned his hopes on something outside his control or complained and fought against something that had happened. Or maybe it had just been a while since he'd thought about these things and wanted a reminder. Whatever his case was, or whatever ours is today, let's align our minds along these four critical habits. One, accept only what is true. Two, work for the common good. Three, match our needs and wants with what is in our control. Four, embrace what nature has in store for us. As Ryan mentioned in the text, these are reminders, these are practices. And if this is coming from Marcus Aurelius, that should be reassuring to you because we all forget. We all need reminders. We need places of practice. We need ideally communities of practice, sanghas, fellowships, meetings, I don't know, prayer circles. We need reminders and we need opportunities to practice these principles. Otherwise, we forget them too easily. We act irrationally and that's not helpful. So I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper here. Accept only what is true. I would say in this moment, for me, it's about honesty. And I talk a lot about this on this channel. We must practice being honest with ourselves because if we accept some delusional story that we're telling ourselves about something that does not serve us, nor does that serve the world. It also can help us cut through all the noise on social media or in the news or all these other things where it is nearly impossible to know what is true. I don't even think we can. Our, our news, our information landscape is so fractured and disrupted that it's very difficult to trust what's outside there. Although we do need to trust certain things and we can't just live in denial and in simple opposition to all the information out there. That's a tricky task. So let's turn it inward and practice primarily. How do we practice being responsible with our, excuse me, how do we practice being honest with ourselves and the people around us? It is a huge task and a huge way of empowering yourself and creating a better life. Practice honesty. Don't accept bullshit from yourself or others. Two, work for the common good. This, I think, has the short end of the stick in the modern world. Service, being of service to others, contributing to the well-being of humanity is not promoted very much in today's world, particularly in pop culture, particularly for young people today. They want to scream and yell about being virtuous and saving the environment, sticking up for oppressed people, blah, blah, blah. But they don't actually fucking do anything. They claim the moral virtue, feel better about themselves, but never do anything. And again, I'm generalizing, obviously, but 
this idea of working for the common good, not expecting other people to do it and catching yourself, this feeds from point one of when you're lying to yourself and claiming an invert, unearned virtue or claiming moral superiority over someone else and, and believing that that's somehow you doing so. Okay. So what is it that you can do for someone else? Be of service contribute to the well-being of others match our needs and wants with what is in our control this is a great one okay we all get caught and lost in expecting things to be different from how they are i want a bigger house i want more of this i want more of that i get envious of others blah 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 okay and when i'm doing that i'm not in control of my behavior my actions and what i can do to bring myself closer to those goals or those desires. There's nothing wrong with wanting things. It's about being honest with ourselves, trying to be of service to the world and finding a way to move towards those things that we want. Again, rather than expecting things to just happen for us or being envious or assassinating other people's character because they have things that you don't and you just make up some comforting excuse for why they're stupid or why they didn't earn it or how they inherited the money from somewhere or how they got lucky. Okay. All of that is a avoidance of responsibility and also robs us of our power to actually do something about these things. Okay. Number four, embrace what nature has in store for us. To me, that's, you know, live life on life's terms. Take it one day at a time. We can't control what happens around us. Okay. We can have influence on it, certainly, but all we can control is how we carry ourselves from day to day. So if you're upset about the election, if you're upset about this, if you're upset about that, if you're upset about whatever has happened to you, okay, you have no control over that. What you have control over is how you respond to these things. And if you haven't got that message already from reading and learning from the Stoics, you got some more learning to do. Okay. How are you going to start practicing those things? How are you going to practice these principles? I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it, share it, comment, consider subscribing to the channel. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.